Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Apologize for the same outfit, same hair, same makeup. I, I just can't be bothered, you know, changing out and pretending it's a different day and blah 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 right now. So let's just get on with it. Today I wanted to share with you a review on this item. This is the YSL Crock Embossed Tassel Chain Bag. Um, I think there's an official name of like Alexa or Kate or something like that, but whatever that's what I'm calling it so this is in the black crock embossed um, with the silver hardware as you can see here it's a single flap bag with a single compartment and one slip pocket at the back there um, this item I purchased from net for 27 with I believe a 15% off discount code and duties paid prior to delivery so all in all it came down to two four two thousand four hundred dollars so which is a lot cheaper than the sort of two eight three thousand sort of Australian dollars that they're selling it for at David Jones so First impressions, I love this bag. It is such a gorgeous, sort of easy go to crossbody bag, in my opinion. Um, if you're looking for a hard wearing, sort of everyday black bag with silver hardware, but obviously not in the price point of Chanel, this is definitely one that I could easily recommend. It looks gorgeous, it functions well, photographs amazingly, um, and it's really, really hearty. I got it in the croc embossed leather so that does add a bit more durability to the bag and there are versions where it doesn't have the tassel which is an option but I actually like that extra little detail but you know having this can be a little bit annoying it does have glazing on the sides as you can see there so this bag is glazed on the sides and so far so good there's no significant wear and tear tan just looks like that it's really really nice and heavy You've got Saint Laurent on the grommets there and then Saint Laurent on the tassel here as well and the tassel is really fun I like to play with it all the time there's no back pocket it opens with a magnetic closure um, no pockets up top and then the interior is textile just like that in one single slip pocket so if you guys haven't noticed I have actually customized my bag as you can see there I've just tied a piece of string or I just got like a leather cord and just I just tied it so that it, it shortens the chain and that's what it looks like on the side I try to just pull it push it inside so it's not super obvious and I just do that and then cross it and now it's shorter alternatively you can sort of double up the chain and do that as I've mentioned in the past and that looks absolutely fine or some people will do that but I don't actually like doing that because as you can see the more you pull on this side it will sort of pull the leather up and it will cause it to deform and I just didn't want to so that's why I've opted to do it the way that I have. Overall the wear and tear is it has softened quite a lot since I received this bag. I'm not sure if this is normal but it, if you can't tell the sides here are just puffing out slightly um, and I mean it, it looks fine it just it's puffing out slightly rather than laying flush against the bag there that's because these two pieces of leather aren't actually stuck together and then if you open it there is some sort of wrinkling just there where it opens and closes but you know it's nothing significant um, I do have a scratch there I've just noticed now but because it's the croc leather it just doesn't look like it's a scratch it doesn't look very obvious this bag is quite roomy actually and you can fit quite a lot um, I'm able to put just a little bit more maybe the same amount as my classic medium flap um, definitely can put you know sunglasses you can put a large wallet you can put a small camera plus your six ring key holder and things like that but it's obviously not the, uh, the type of bag where you can put an MM agenda or a large water bottle and things like that functionality of the bag is amazing um, you know it's so so easy to style this obviously with this outfit that I'm wearing right now I can easily wear it as crossbody 
um, just like this and then call it a day. I like wearing mine a little bit higher because um, that's just how I like to wear my crossbody bags. I don't like it too low. I just love it. It's really a, a bag I can totally recommend. Um, I do not regret that I have this even if I have this sort of Chanel mini flap because it looks different in my opinion. This is a longer style and I actually like to wear this even as a clutch for more formal occasions. It looks absolutely fine as long as I guess your outfit's got more of a silver accent rather than gold. It does come in an array of different styles, different sizes and different colours. So there's a croc emboss, there's the plain, there's a suede um, and then they have different colours as well. I've seen a bright pink one, I've seen a red, I've seen a grey, I've even seen a Bordeaux and a nude. It comes in different sort of metal finishes so there is a gold and silver I think. I think it's a completely different bag but there's styles where it's got the tassel and it doesn't. There's the petite or the smaller version which fits almost nothing I'm pretty sure. Um, so I would recommend if you're going to go and get one to get in this size. So I just thought I'd show you guys how this looks on me. So this is how I would normally wear this bag. Just crossbody and high um, this is how this is the sort of look I enjoy and then I can also wear it you know on the shoulder that's also really nice too if I was to sort of let this go and just put it back to the normal length this is actually the length so it's quite still it's a good length um, just goes below my waist there and um, crossbody it's definitely you know a nice short length still and in winter with more coats on this is actually a nice length to sort of wear it but I just like it when it's a little bit higher up it just looks a little bit more funky if you have any specific questions um, don't forget to post them down below I'll also include a blog post just detailing a little bit more info about this bag or anything I've forgotten to mention today that is my review guys and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little video too don't forget to thumbs up this video comment down below and subscribe and let me know which handbag you want me to do a review on next would love to go ahead and film that for you guys so as always um, thank you for taking the time to watch this video um, hope you guys are having a wonderful week or weekend and I will see you guys in my next one bye